Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage, Chapter 173, Exposed The invitation that Princess Rong Zin sent had indicated the afternoon on the next day. Lu Zhu Yan instructed Shen Zin to prepare a number of gifts for Shen Miao to bring to the princess residence because Princess Rong Zin had helped Shen Miao a number of times. Thus Lu Zhu Yan would like to express her gratitude to Princess Rong Zin in order to prevent any accidents during the journey. Shen Kaiyu had arranged a number of guards and even Ozin Mo King were also following. Despite these, Shen Miao did not have any relaxed feeling during the journey. When Jing and Gu Yu, who were beside her, saw it and thought that Shen Miao was worried that the journey was not safe and consoled her for a long time. In the carriage, Shen Miao kept pondering how she should respond to Princess Rong Xin's words. If Princess Rong Xin asked about Zi Jingxing then how would she go about dispelling the other party's suspicion? Princess Rong Xin was a very cautious person and once a doubtful thought formed, it would be very difficult to annihilate it. Shen Miao felt a terrible headache. Jing smiled. What is young lady thinking that is so serious? This servant had not seen young lady like this for a long time already. Shen Miao was slightly stunned and her heart was somewhat flabbergasted. It was correct. Ever since she was reborn, the route that she was walking on was exceptionally smooth as she relied on information of her previous life's path. Even it was matters concerning Lu Zhu Yan, Shen Xin and Shen Kaiyu. It was not particularly difficult to deal with. As for other people, she would only be interested one's interest, just like Liu Ying and Pei Lang. How would she got to do with other people's business? But now she was cracking her head to think of an excuse for Xi Jingxing. But what was the relationship between Xi Jingxing and her that she would make an all-out effort? Xin Miao started to be somewhat angry with herself and she also knew that she had a stubborn personality and would bash one's head against a brick wall. A voice in her heart said that these troubles were caused by Xi Jingxing and he should be the one resolving it. The other voice however could not bear for Xi Jingxing to handle this tricky matter alone. After all to let Xi Jingxing reappear in front of Princess Rong Xin with an identity of Prince Ruai of Great Liang. No matter if it was to Princess Rongxing or Zi Jingxing, it was just too cruel. Unknowingly, when Shen Miao had not thought of an appropriate countermeasures, the horse carriage had reached the entrance doors of the princess residence. The servants of the princess residence had some impression of Shen Miao unnaturally welcoming her respectfully. Shen Miao instructed Mo King and the rest to remain at the doors to help move the gifts for Princess Rong Xin to the storeroom. Afterwards the palace maid brought Shen Miao in. She brought her directly into Princess Rong Xin's room. Even though Princess Rong Xin's figure was not commonly seen in court and she was normally low-key, but the princess residence was spacious and grand. Even since her Fu Ma, princess's husband, passed on, Princess Rong Xin lived as a widow and was not very concerned about these mere worldly possessions. Her room's theme was simple and clean and when one entered, there was a sense of coldness. Princess Rong Xin was drinking some sweet soup that was sent from the kitchens and when she saw that Shen Miao had arrived, she instructed the servants to bring a bowl for Shen Miao. She smiled as she said, This is a newly hired chef that makes good snacks and sweet soup. One does not know if you are used to eating it or not but Ben Gong felt that it is better than the palaces. Give it a taste. Shen Miao thanked Princess Rong Xin and picked up the bowl to have a taste. She did not like sweet food particularly and because of Princess Rong Xin's face, it was not good to refuse it. While eating, she was observing Princess Rong Xin's facial expression. Princess Rong Xin looked much better than that encounter she had in the place. Her face was rosier and her mood was not bad as there was a smile on her face. Shin Miao said, Princess looked much better. The medical hall had recently happened to receive a rare medicinal herb and the kitchens would simmer it every day for Ben Gong to drink. It would be difficult for Ben Gong not to get better. Princess Rong Xin sighed. It is really lucky. Previously one thought that it was already not easy to search for this medicinal herb and did not expect that one actually encounter it at this timing. There was a bit of a surprise in her tone of voice. Shin Miao followed Princess Rong Xin's tropic but her heart felt a little weird. Princess Rong Xing was not someone who was concerned about trivial matters and even chatting, 
it would be speaking of one's view on interesting matters thus there was no need to specifically mention this matter to her. However Shen Miao could not get the deeper meaning of her words. She had initially thought that Princess Rong Xin would be asking about Xi Jingxing's matter today and did not expect that Princess Rong Xin would not even mention anything about it thus she also did not intend to mention it. On the contrary the topic was changed to Shen Miao's marriage that Emperor Wen Hua had suppressed a few days back. Imperial older brother had been obsessed with it before and seemed to really want you to be his daughter-in-law that even Ben Gong felt that it was not appropriate. However after you left on that day, Ben Gong personally went to Imperial older brother to plea for leniency and hope that he would dismiss this idea but Imperial older brother did not agree to it. Afterwards it was all thanks to Prince Rui's lucky influence. She looked at Shen Miao with a smile. One had thought that General Shen had inquired about the reason and told you. Shen Miao nodded her head and she started to be on guard. Even though these words were somewhat treacherous, Ben Gong also do not wish to see Great Liang having ambitions on Ming Qi. But one had to thank Prince Rui as if he hadn't said those words. Imperial older brother would not have changed his mind and your marriage would not be suppressed down like this. Shen Miao remained quiet as one would make more mistakes if one were to speak now. However she did not expect that Princess Rong Xin would suddenly take her hand and spoke with a smile. Previously Ben Gong saw that the relationship between you and Prince Rui of Great Liang was not shallow and Ben Gong is after all much older than you and have eaten more salt than you have eating rice. And it is the same for looking at people. Prince Rui has a special identity and Ben Gong sees that you are still young and inevitably be deceived but one did not expect that he was one of loyally and spoke up at this critical moment. Ben Gong was thinking that if this was said on purpose then it was somewhat constrained. Princess Rong Xin did not have such an attitude on Prince Rui previously, because the gap between how she was formerly and now was so great. Shen Miao became very cautious but there was no trace of flusteredness on her face as she said with a gentle smile, Prince Rui is a dragon among people and this official's daughter is just a mere grass, naturally one is incomparable. This official's daughter is also not that arrogant to think that Prince Rui would speak for this official's daughter. These words was diplomatically denying the intimate relationship with Prince Rui, Ben Gong know that you are shy. Princess Rong Xin was particularly eccentric today, Ben Gong would not tell others. Shen Miao wanted to speak but Princess Rong Xin changed the topic at a turn of her head. Princess Rong Xin was particularly exhilarated today and kept on talking to Shen Miao for a long time. When Prince Rui was brought up just now, Shen Miao thought that Princess Rong Xin would continue to ask but Princess Rong Xin changed topic and asked about the youths that Lu Zhu helped to pick for Shen Miao. From the afternoon till the evening, Princess Rong Xin seemingly did not want to end the day's chat and send Shen Miao back. Shen Miao was somewhat confused about Princess Rong Xin's intention. Jings and Gu Yu however wanted Shen Miao to return narrowly as the roads were not easy to travel on at night as one would not be able to see the road that the horse carriage was traveling on. But this was the princess residence and the princess and Shen Miao did not say anything about it so how could they, two servants, say anything? When the last pot of tea was finished, Princess Rong Xin got up and Gings and Guyu gave a slight sigh in their heart as they thought that Princess Rong Xin had a rare interest today and finally they would be able to return. Who knew that Princess Rong Xin pulled Shen Miao's hands over amiably and smiled, accompany me around the courtyard. Jings's and Guyu's mouth dropped. Princess Rong Xin had lived here for so many years and would have walked around her own courtyard every day. Without any rhyme and reason why would one let Shen Miao, a guest, take a walk around the courtyard? Moreover it was currently pitch dark and it was very cold outside, so why the need to take a walk around the courtyard? Wasn't one afraid of catching a cold? Was it that the princesses of imperial families were also eccentric? Shen Miao however understood. Princess Rong Xin obviously had other things in mid and today's invitation to Shen Miao to come over to the princess residence would definitely not only to let Shen Miao chat with her. Princess Rong Xin definitely had her own plans, but Shen Miao had no ways to reject it. She said, Alright, out of Jing's and Gu Yu's expectation, 
The courtyard that Princess Rongzin brought Shenmi out to was a side courtyard. There was no lantern at the doors and one could not see clearly what words were on the black. Princess Rongzin pulled Shen Miao's hands as she stepped into the room and smiled. This courtyard is Xingzheng Yuan. Shen Miao heart thumped and she knew what Princess Rongzin would say next. Sure enough when Princess Rongzin entered the room, she picked up the little toys on the shelf in reminisce and smiled while she spoke. This is where Jing Xing stayed. Jing's and Gu Yu who were following behind felt that the words was a little strange. This was where the little Marquis of the Z family stayed. Jing Xing did not have a mother when he was young. After Yu King left, Ben Gong pitied that he was so young and was angry with the restless side family of the Marquis of Linen that caused a fire in the inner courtyard. Yu King's life was bitter and at the end had a reputation of being a jealous wife. However at that time Madame Fang exploited a loophole and one could not use the imperial might to deal with her as it would only bring forth infamy to Yu King. Ben Gong was first angry and second fearful that Madame Fang would do take sinister action and carried Jing Xing back to the princess residence to raise. Jing Xing is very naughty from birth and is very close with Ben Gong. Ben Gong did not have any son and thought that it would be good to have Jing Xing raised by my side. Thus built this Xingzheng Yuan for Jing Xing. When Princess Rongzin was speaking about these things, she was still sighing. With her description, Shen Miao could almost see a baby in swaddling clothes. The fortunate thing about Shen Miao was that her parents were safe and sound and doted on her a lot. Even though due to the second and third household of the Shen family's instigation, there were some alienation, it could still be remedied. However when Zi Jing Xing was born, he did not have a mother. In another words, when he was born, in the false identity in Mingqi, he played the role of a pitiful and unfavorable role. Jing Xing was raised at Ben Gong's very well and the Marquis of Lin and came a few time to bring him back and even did it through Imperial older brother's end but Ben Gong did not acknowledge it. However later on Madame Feng gave birth to two sons then Ben Gong returned Jing Xing back. Princess Rongzin turned around and looked at Shen Miao. Do you know why? Shen Miao thought of it for a moment before saying, because the little Marquis was the son of the residence of the Marquis of Linen and he should be inheriting the residence of the Marquis of Linen. If the little Marquis continued to stay in the princess residence, Madame Feng and the two Shu sons of the Z family would exploit it and in the future the position of the Marquis of Lin and will also fall in the hands of the two brothers. Princess Rongxing smiled when she heard it. Ben Gong had long knew that you are one who could see things thoroughly. When I was at your age, one would not have think of that. Shen Miao smiled gently and did not express an opinion. Naturally a young female who had not given birth would not plan for a child much less plan in advance. But she was a female who gave birth to two child thus if it was Wan Yu and Fu Ming, she would also let Wan Yu and Fu Ming return. It was originally her own children things so how would one let others take it? Although Jing Xing returned, his relationship with Ben Gong still remained very good. It was always said that blood is thicker than water. So Ben Gong was afraid that he would get along with the Marquis of Linen and with vile characters provoking he would instead be somewhat resentful to Ben Gong and Yu King. But what Ben Gong was surprisingly delighted was that his relations with the Marquis of Lin and was not been so good. No matter how well the Marquis of Lin and treated him, he would not be indifferent to it. Sometimes Ben Gong thought that he and the Marquis of Lin and did not look like a pair of father and son so how would there be an instance of blood being thicker than water? Shen Miao's heart was hoisted up as the meaning behind Princess Rong Zin's words was just too strong. Princess Rong Zin picked up a small mirror on the shelf and said, actually not only does he not look like a father and son with the Marquis of Lin and, he does not resemble Yu King. The Marquis of Linen was a military man but had some indecisiveness thus in some matters he would be muddled else he would not be schemed by a slut like Madame Fang. Yu King was a foolish one as her heart went out fully to that man but at the end she even lost her life and allowed her child to suffer. Zi Jing's character was however different from the both of them. Jing Xing had a very stubborn temperament but he was very decisive in his actions. Once he obtained a treasured sword and it was regarded highly by his good 
good friend. The good friend did not say anything but he saw it. Afterwards he said that he took to fancy that friend's mirror and used his treasured sword for an exchange. Ben Gong asked him why did he lie when he obviously didn't like the mirror and he replied Ben Gong that it was because he did not like that treasured sword. He seemed to know clearly what he wanted or not when he was young. He would not take a glance more at the things he did not want and would grab on tightly on things he wanted from the very beginning in his hands. He would always smile and would be liked by females but had never expressed any special indication to any female. He is actually more indifferent than anyone else. Princess Rong Zin stared at Shen Miao and for a moment Shen Miao felt that Princess Rong Zin and Xi Jing Xing were similar in some aspects. It was especially so when they stare sharply at someone, they seem to have the ability to see through one's souls. This kind of compelling sense of oppression had re-emerged from this imperial princess once again. She then opened her mouth to speak. Ben Gong was thinking that perhaps in his eyes the Marquis of Linen was a thing that he did not need so from the beginning he did not treat the Marquis of Linen affectionately. Ben Gong had always thought that Ben Gong was the person that he would hang on tightly onto but from now it seemed that Ben Gong was wrong. Ben Gong was also a person he did not need correct? This word correct was directed to Shen Miao to answer. Jing's and Gu Yu had already been pulled out by Princess Rong Zin's personal female official, Yang Gu Gu and there was currently no one in the room. Shen Miao listened quietly before speaking, the little marquee places the princess in his heart. Shen Miao, Ben Gong knows that you are exceptionally intelligent and is good at appraising others' mind, so there is no need to coax Ben Gong. Princess Rong Zin coldly laughed, if it was truly placing Ben Gong in the heart then why would one deceive with the news of the fake death? How would one just watch on as Ben Gong suffers in pain and sleepless night from the news of his death? It was obviously that everything was planned in the beginning but still had to deceive for Ben Gong's trust and sincere heart. Obviously one is right in front but refuse to recognize and still use half-hearted excuses. Shin Miao you tell Ben Gong if this is called placing Ben Gong in one's heart? When the last sentence was spoken, the tone was very sharp as if there was anger in the questioning. Shen Miao's heart sank. At the end, she knew about it. However she could not admit to it. There were a lot of matters that even though one knew the ending, one could not speak about it. Even if evidence was conclusive, Nothing could be said. Princess Rong Zin was Ming Qi's princess while Xi Jing Xing was Prince Ruai of Great Liang. Once this information was confirmed and was set out by her, Shen Miao could not verify how much trouble it would bring to Xi Jing Xing. She could not just confess impetuously. Even if Princess Rong Zin had affirmed it in her heart, she said, this official's daughter do not understand what Princess is talking about. Princess Rong Xing looked at her contemptuously and the previous kindness and gentleness had disappeared and what replaced was the look of a superior looking at a lower rank with the arrogance that one could step an ant to death. This was the most common expression from the Fu family and once upon a time, Shen Miao would see it daily. Disgust started to suddenly appear in her heart. It was not hatred for Princess Rong Zin but most likely the hatred was the blood of the Fu family that was running through Princess Rong Zin's veins that made them similar when they used different means to achieve the same end. Princess Rong Zin said, Do you know about the crime of lying the imperial family? Offense of deceiving the monarch. Shen Miao answered, collaborating with the enemy to betray the country and deceiving the monarch. These words are enough to make your entire household be executed and implicate nine branches of a family. You can already see it in the case of Shen Wan. Do you know that you are saying to Ben Gong? What kind of lies are you saying to Ben Gong? Not shedding a tear until one sees the coffin? Princess Rong Zin's voice had a bone-chilling effect, if Ben Gong wants you dead. It is an easy matter. If you are not able to answer to Ben Gong's satisfaction, Ben Gong only need to mention it to Imperial older brother and it would be a calamity for your Shen family. Because of your stubbornness, you want to let your parents and older brother pay with their lives? Shen Miao said, this official's daughter did not say anything. Shen Miao was silent. Princess Rong Zin slowly spoke, now tell Ben Gong. Is Prince Ruai the Xi Jingxing that died in the battlefield? It isn't. 
the firm two words came out of Shen Miao without a single waver. It was as if all the scary threats previously were all smoke clouds and had not leave any trace in her heart. Shen Miao. Princess Rong Xin got angry. Ben Gong will punish the Shen family. Everything requires evidences. As long as Ben Gong is willing, without evidences, one can also punish you. Shen Miao's heart almost laughed out grimly. The Fu family people were always like this, so overbearing. Be it with the seemingly fair Princess Rong Xin, as long as one was facing a matter that one wanted to know, there would not be any hesitation to use one's imperial power to bully. Humans were complex. Human nature was selfish. Ben Gong asked you one more time. Is Prince Ruai, Zi Jingxing? It is not. Princess Rong Xin almost wanted to burst out in anger. On normal days she appreciated Shen Miao's presence of mind in the face of disasters but when this was directed to her, Princess Rong Xin felt that she was facing a bronze pea where she was unable to find a single flaw. Normal female would have be scared but Shen Miao was not afraid at all. Someone come. Princess Rong Xin face became solemn. Go and take Shen Miao. Before she could finish her sentence, the rest of the words were swallowed down into her throat. A purple clad figure leaped into the window outside. The figure came in from the back window and there was no one guarding the backyard thus no one saw him. That person was clad in a dark purple brocade robes and at the corners of the robes there were golden thread embroideries which Princess Rong Xing was all too familiar with. After he entered the room, he took his time to glance around before leisurely strolling over to Shen Miao. It was as if it was as natural as one's home and stopped in front of Princess Rong Xin. He then lazily spoke slowly, she is timid. Rong Yi, don't scare her. Princess Rong Xin remained silent after seeing this person and stood there blankly. Upon hearing Rong Yi, she pointed her finger at the other part but could to speak anything. In the not very spacious room. The light from the lamp was swaying slightly while that person played with the rung on the thumb and wearing half a sliver mask. In the cold light of the mask, a slightly smiling red lips was revealed, but one did not feel warm at all. Shin Miao stared at Zi Jing Xin unbelievably. She had never thought that Zi Jing Xing would dare to appear at this moment. How could he appear in the princess residence without making any secret of it? To Princess Rong Xin. Zi Jingxing had died in the battlefield in northern Zhang two years ago and if Zi Jingxing appeared again, not to mention the waves that would be created in Mingqi, but in addition to the identity of Prince Ruai, there would be all kinds of names of being a scout, spy or traitor that would be used. How could he dared? Princess Rong Xin pointed at him and trembled before asking, what did you call Ben Gong? The purple-clad youth in the room had a tall stature as he slowly reached out to remove his mask. When the mask was removed, one could see clearly his outstanding facial features. Unparalleled beauty. That pair of eyes that was always filled with a little radiance and frivolous smiles was now offset but his lips that had a slight ridicule. The frivolous look was covered and there were indifference and pride showing. An unfamiliar Zi Jing Xing. A young man that was completely different from the dazzling handsome youth but on his body. One could vaguely see a shadow of the youth. It was just that arrogance was suppressed down and what replaced was a type of danger that was terrifying. He then put the mask back on but it was done heedlessly as he spoke somewhat lazily. Trust Rong Yi has been well. Princess Rong Xin was stunned for a long time and it seemed that she recovered to her senses just then. She looked at Zi Jingxing and sized him up with an unfamiliar gaze before speaking in an unclear tone. Ben Gong should call you Prince Ru I R Z Jing Xing. The alienation and defensive in those words gave Shen Miao a shock. She had previously thought about what kind of scene it would be like when Zi Jing Xing bumped with Princess Rong Xin, but she had not thought that it would be like how it was currently. Previously, the family affection had become a scam and joke, and the short lived family with Princess Rong Xin had become so hostile that it made one astonished. Zi Jing Xing said, as the princess wishes, is the medicine herbs sent by you? Princess Rong Xin asked. Zi Jing Xing only smiled and not answered. Princess Rong Xin also smiled, 
Ben Gong dare not accept Prince Rui's things for nothing. One thinks that the prices for these medicinal herbs are not low. Ben Gong will instruct people to send the money over to the residence of Prince Rui. Many thanks to Prince Rui. No need. Zi Jingxing said. What is Prince Rui here for? Princess Rong Zin's voice was polite but vigilant, unlike how would be facing one resurrected son. It was completely a confrontation with stranger and one could say that the tone used was when Ni faces an enemy. She don't know anything. Zi Jingxing pointed to Shen Miao with his chin. Just ask me directly on any doubts that the princess has. There is no need to make things difficult for her. How would I dare to make things difficult for her? Princess Rongzin laughed coldly but her tone was somewhat complicated. It is good that things are not difficult. Zi Jingxing walked over and held Shen Miao's shoulders, uncaring what expression Shen Miao had, regarding about today's matter. This prince would come personally another day to explain. There is no need to implicate others on any misunderstanding that the princess have with this prince. He lips raised, the residence of Prince Rui is always waiting at any time. After finishing, he did not care what Princess Rong Zin's expression was and took a few steps and went out from the window. Shin Miao was shocked by Zi Jingxing's actions today and did not have any reaction when she was brought out of the princess residence. She had never thought that Zi Jingxing would dare to appear pompously in the princess residence and revealed his identity to Princess Rong Zin. Even though Zi Jingxing and Princess Rong Zin had relations of a mother and child, that was in the past. Zi Jingxing was currently from Great Liang and with a different nationality it would cause changes in many matters. This was especially so in the position they were in. For example when Princess Rong Zin saw Zi Jingxing today, Shen Miao had thought Princess Rong Zin would be hysterical, question angrily or would weep in pain. However the first expression that Princess Rong Zin showed was bringing her guard up. Her frigid irony and scorching satire but silent probing was done in a polite manner without making one difficult. This kind of restrained emotions only represented one fact which was that Princess Rong Zin was more suspicious than happy to the resurrected Zi Jingxing. The words that Princess Rong Zin had floated to her ears. He seemed to know clearly what he wanted or not when he was young. He would not take a glance more at the things he did not want and would grab on tightly on things he wanted from the very beginning in his hands. He would always smile and would be liked by females but had never expressed any special indication to any female. He is actually more indifferent than anyone else. Was it because Zi Jingxing knew that such a day would happen thus the family relations that he did not want was not because he really did not want but because he could not afford to have? Because once he had it, there would be a day where he would lose it. Loved ones would become hostile enemies and the once compassionate and caring eyes would become defensive. Since it was so, it would be better to be strangers from the start. Without any closeness. There would not be any moment of drawback to look forward to. Shen Miao's heart suddenly felt upset. 